Hey guys, and welcome back to Pixel Cherry Ninja's channel. So we've been covering the Nintendo 64 core. There's been plenty of changes. So I did a video yesterday, Friday, and that was for a core that was released on the day before. Well, since then, we've had another two updates, an update for the 22nd of September, and this update that you're seeing now for the 23rd, which is the day I'm filming it and the day that I ran this course. So uh, I was over on Twitter earlier and I came across this tweet and uh, the tweet is from a Twitter user called Cibaru uh, underscore XYZ and they actually said while the Mr. FPGA Nintendo 64 core is improving every day people overseas are not covering Super Robot Wars 64 as the, as a title them they are not interested in so I decided to capture it and upload it and awesome work there but uh, sound sound reproduction has also improved if you were interested in PS or Saturn's Super Robot Wars F music at the time you might want to turn on 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 the speakers at least once so that was a Google um, a Google translation so I, I replied to that tweet and I said you know what I am actually gonna run that on my next video and here I am running it on my next video and guys this must be a gem of a game so and I did clarify as well it's not that we're not interested in the game it's the language barrier that's presented a lot of these games we're going to put on and we're going to get frustrated because hey you know what we're not going to know how to play them this looks good it's like a turn-based strategy game kind of reminds me a little bit of front mission but I guess front mission was one of my favorite uh, one of my favorite turn-based games I completed it on the PlayStation absolutely loved it and then I found out if you make a decision at the beginning it gives you a whole other game but that's a whole different thing but this game is running superbly and yeah guys it's just it's fantastic so i'm sure there's a lot lost in translation but man like is this game awesome like i looked at it i liked it i love like the combat scenes and everything in between and you know what when we're checking this core out we're actually neglecting a lot of gems out there like this game just i would have never known about this game uh, unless i uh, unless uh, i came across the tweet that i did earlier on now i kind of know about the super uh, the super robot tazen games but i've never really played them i've seen i've seen some translations around maybe like a game boy advanced version or something but here we are checking it out on the latest n64 core we're going to have a look at another cool robot game which i think is from within the same universe so i've just kind of go, gone into my no intro rom set and i've looked for like uh, these particular games and there was two of them on the nintendo 64 so we're going to look at another one who guys like they are cool and the second one's a fighting game so there's no language barrier there you just you just fight each other and it's it's actually not bad but look how cool the graphics the enemies the game just looks this game just looks good it looks good and i haven't researched it maybe there's a fan translation uh awesome stuff but uh you know just a massive uh, thank you out to uh Siba sibario uh, underscore xyz for actually highlighting this because you know it's, it's just making me think yeah why not have a look at some random japanese games now because well i wouldn't say random japanese games just japanese games because hey there's a lot of games out there anyway let's check the next one now okay the next one we're looking at guys is super robot spirits and just have a look at this intro it's insane look how good it looks it's easily one of the best ones i've seen so yeah you kind of pick your i don't know if it's a mech or if you're some kind of transformer in fact i don't know what you are guess the title there's robot in the title so hey maybe you're a robot but guys look at it i could literally rewind that and watch that again and again and again now going into these um japanese games i had no idea what it was but it was a fighting game now i have to say my second round performance was better than my first one because as i kind of went in there i'm trying to work stuff out now like, like i say i like getting into a lot of these games blind i don't play them first this is the first time i'm playing it but then all of a sudden i'm flying up and about in the sky dragon ball z style but only with robots and look the graphics for this game it's fan they're fantastic like i i like fighting games i grew up playing fighting games in the arcade i played them uh, when i was young when i got back into arcade games i got into fighting games now i don't know the exactly how deep this game is but man it's just amazing where the nintendo 64 core has come like robert he, he's just amazing the guy is nothing nothing short of just a genius i mean so much stuff is working and uh let me know in the comments below if there's other japanese games that are worth 
well there's going to be plenty that are worth checking out um i don't know how many exclusives there are there's probably quite a few but if there's a bunch down there maybe we can do like a japanese only or the best of japan uh, games out there that we can have a look at and this 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 game is just style now in the second uh, round i definitely felt like the gameplay was better because hey i managed to stay on the ground and on the ground combos were relatively easy definitely a lot easier than the video i did yesterday where i'm playing now what was it neon Evangenesis? sorry i can't remember the time neo genesis evangelion or something where all i could do was just kind of walk walk in and punch but guys this game is fantastic like check it out look at it, it plays it's playing at full speed moves look good combos look good and honestly i might let my kids play it because i feel like it's two transformers fighting anyway let's now move on but those were the two japanese games i wanted to have a look at in this video three two one let's go okay this is v rally v rally 64 i think it's called and guys this is one of the games or one of the games that's working on the latest version of the nintendo 64 core and you know what guys it kind of looks good now growing up guys i never liked rally games but i kind of like them now now i have to say i've been playing sega rally over on uh, the sega saturn core and i prefer that one that still is the best rally game but wow this actually surprised me because i remember seeing this game i never really thought much of it i didn't really I never really gave it a second look. I didn't think much about it. But man, this for a Nintendo 64 game, it looks good. It moves good. It moves fast. And uh, yes, definitely a decent game. And it's running on this version of the core. And uh, yeah, man, it's just it's awesome to see all this stuff working. Um, you know, previously on uh, over in a Discord, we had uh, a pin list that had the games that were fully playable. And I actually asked, I was like, where's that list gone? And uh, Robbie, uh, one of the admins over on a Discord answered, so many games are working now, it's actually not worth having that list. So touche and uh, well said, Robbie. But guys, honestly, like Robert Pipe's work is amazing. It's just, it's coming along so fast. Imagine I did a video yesterday. I've done a video today where the cause received uh, two updates since the time of me doing the video. So awesome stuff it's quite possible by the time you're watching uh this video another update is out who just knows like compatibility it's it's just happening like i wonder what's going to be next like the games i'm so looking forward to is you know when we get our golden eye and our perfect dark and all that other stuff working and it seems like it's going to be sooner rather than later but hey if you wanted to play v rally well you can Okay guys, next we are checking out Hydro Thunder and there's a reason that I've uh, chosen to have a look at this game uh, because this game used to crash previously. Now, I always made it like towards the end of the race and right at like the very end the game will just crash also want to send a special thanks out to my uh, buddy andy uh, andy d who's always helping me behind the scenes um i actually asked him a list of games that were worth checking and he gave me like a list and most of those games are what i'm kind of testing here because i didn't have enough time to kind of research it myself so big shout out to shay andy always helping out but let's have a look at the latest uh, kind of changes so uh, in the last two updates so if we have a look at the one that was a 22nd robert says same cycle access to rsp and rdp registers from cpu and rsp fixed rdp fixed ninth bit readback index for frame and z buffer and in today's update the 23rd of september uh, just says just says rdp fixed palette mode for 16 and 32 bit textures example mario kart and we will have a look at mario kart later so i guess there's improvement in colors you know with my lack of uh, technical understanding that's what i'm taking at it's going to look nicer and everything is looking nicer i mean just look at hydro thunder man this is this is such a great game i mean I know a lot of people like wave race and that's considered the best honestly i prefer for a for a water racing game uh, or something a, a racing game based around water hydro thunder is definitely my choice on the n64 let me know down below which one you prefer and are you on team hydro or are you on team wave team wave race and i think i just just, just discovered a shortcut there by accident and i love the fact that there's a ramp just before an underwater volcano honestly it is just how some people would say rad 
Right guys, let's check Destruction Derby and I'm, and I'm glad we are returning to this game and the reason for that is this was one of the kind of early games that started working where you just had like, I don't know, it was like darkness, it looked like a bad dream, you know where you have one of those dreams where you can't really see everything and it's just dark shaped everywhere, is that just me and my dreams? Uh, let me know down below if you have seen anything like that or am I just a weird one out with these dreams? But Destruction Derby was like just shapes, you couldn't see much that was going on and all of a sudden you'd see fire and an explosion, definitely like a big vivid dream or a crazy vivid dream now look at it look how good it looks i mean it just looks amazing and there was one game was it this game or was it a different game i was playing it might have been v rally actually i meant to uh kind of oh no no it's this game destruction derby look at that we've got we've got like those sun rays kind of going around the graphical effects on this they just look fantastic and it's nice to see those lighting effects like i always say i'm not the most tech guy but hey i can recognize something when it looks beautiful now I kind of played Destruction Derby, I think, on a PlayStation where you're in a big dome smashing each other kind of up. I don't get how those guys are racing backwards. Are some of the racers racing the other way around on the track trying to destroy you? Because obviously it tells me when I'm going the wrong way and I can't just kind of go the other way and attack stuff. But guys, like if you played Destruction Derby on the Nintendo 64, honestly, it's so playable. It's so awesome. Uh, fun fact, I turned the rumble off on this because I thought my hands would probably shake and explode. Uh, like I said, I didn't really use rumble on the N64. So when I'm testing it for cause, cool. But gen generally, I have it off. It's probably the wrong way to do it. Maybe I should turn it on. But hey, my choice is to have rumble off. Let me know down below what how you're playing it. Are you one of those people that didn't have the rumble pack like me? And that's the way you're playing the core? Or are you like one of those guys that did have a rumble pack and, you, uh, and are using it with absolutely everything you can someone in the previous video said it works really well on Star Fox and that's something I'm yet to try I'm gonna try that when I've get when I've got a bit more time I actually captured this footage at home and uh, and then I am away from home at the moment doing the voiceover and just using the footage I captured on the mister to do the voiceover. But when I've got a bit of time, I will play Star Fox because I absolutely love that game. And that's one of the games I should actually complete again. But going back to Destruction Derby, guys, yeah, it looks fantastic. Look how good it looks. I mean, you've got all the effects there. I'm sure you guys can tell me in the comments below if I'm missing anything or if there's stuff that's in, not quite perfect yet. But man, to me, this just looks amazing. Okay guys, so next up, this is Harvest Moon. Honestly, these are games I'm not interested in. I don't know, farming, not really for me. Hey, you know, my background, my family, I come from a family of farmers. Uh, so it's not something I, I generally play. Now I do recognize these are good games. A lot of people like them. Uh, I kind of gave myself, like, I gave my, I think I call myself PCN. I called my town Mister, and I named my dog DE10. I couldn't fit Nano in there, or I was able to put that in there as well. But the Harvest Moon game on the Nintendo 64 is working. Should you want to try it out? But you know what? I don't know. I just don't. I don't like playing. Ever since playing Animal Crossing on the DS, where I spent like a long time digging up weed and just doing random stuff like that and i thought to myself why am i playing this now i i i know animal crossing is a good game because i got hooked on it but after playing it on the ds i said to myself i'm never playing this again i need to play different type of games with the time i have i can't be i can't have it where uh, i'm supposed to meet someone in a game at 9 p.m i'm late and they kind of tell me off and this game here i'm picking weeds it kind of reminds me a little bit of that i'm sure it's very very different but hey going back to the point of if this was one of the games you played then hey you can play it now it plays really really well i i can't see anything wrong with it and i have to say the graphics are very very charming they look really really good but hey a man can only deal with so much weed okay so this is hexen guys i dig this game i kind of remember seeing this in like computer magazines was this one of like the early fps games it's really weird the controls you only use the joystick to control the c buttons don't make you stray for doing anything but the controls were all right i didn't have difficulties kind of navigating my way around the controls i do like the attacks you got the punch the punches just look they look really really cool and the enemy design kind of reminds me a little bit of like the way the enemies look in duke nukem but this is working this is working well and it kind of feels like a all right game uh i know I, th I think someone mentioned this in the comments they wanted to see this tested this and uh, doom si doom 64 we'll run doom 64 next but uh honestly hexen's good do let me know in the comments below if you played this is this game any good or not i mean for me at face value i do like the way it looks i just kind of got lost and didn't know exactly where to go apparently i need to find the key i found like a cell uh well it, it was like kind of stone kind of walls uh stone pillar walls i managed to punch the enemies through it but then i didn't know how to get around to the other side because i 
I could see the key in there. But Hexen's working well. And honestly, guys, this, this call is just amazing. Like the work Robert has been putting in and the pace at which he's doing all this stuff at is it's just wow it's it's triumphant uh, and uh, yeah as usual i'll leave robert's patreon uh, details in the description of the video if you do want to support his work then uh, go ahead and do that but this core is coming along so so nicely honestly like i wouldn't i, I don't even know what kind of percentage uh, of completion it's reached you know i don't know would it be fair to say 70 percent 80 percent uh in discussions that we've had on discord it's like you can get to 90 percent fast the last 10 percent will be the most difficult so even though we're getting a lot of stuff there might be some uh, there might be some difficult things to overcome for robert but hey i'm not a developer i can't say that all i can say is the stuff we're looking at we've got some great eye candy this game hexen looks good and this was one that i kind of always wanted to try okay so that's the little prison kind of bit i was looking i was hoping to kind of crack those uh i don't know what they are well like rock spikes or whatever but i do like the fact i could punch those uh enemies through there there's a key there has to be a key i didn't know how to get to it anyway let's now check doom okay guys here we have doom 64 okay so it's running we get into game but there's odd colors and things out there so i imagine in one of the updates everything is going to look good remember mario kart when we were running it and we had like a black box around us well the enemies in here and other items like my gun uh they've got well i'm colorblind i don't know is that a red box an orange box it's got a box around us and here you go this is where i got to on doom 64 i know someone requested this a few of you guys have mentioned it in the comments so i thought i'll give it a run but for now it crashes hopefully i'll remember and i'll try and run this on an update because the games i really do like playing on updates are games that crash like this or games that perform badly it's nice to see when they finally start working and the prog progress robert the developer has made in kind of getting this stuff to work okay guys so this is the final game we're looking at and a game that we've looked at a lot mario kart 64 an absolute classic as this was one of the games kind of robert mentioned as an example uh, mario kart 64 have a look in here like guys my my attention to detail isn't as great like so you guys let me know like how good does it look i mean for me this looks like i'm playing it on a nintendo 64 it just looks it looks every bit as good as i remember it maybe even better who knows for me it's it's complete let me know in the comments below you know if there are any any issues that still need to be addressed let me know educate me guys but for me i'm playing this it looks banging like i can't i can't see anything out of place well at least while i was playing it now i'm doing the voiceover let me see if i spot something and honestly so far i haven't spotted anything it just looks great effects are there colors are there it just it just works the cause is just coming along so nicely and honestly robert has achieved the impossible like where we were and where robert said it will be like a year before a commercial game works you know hold my beer a month two months i can't even remember a couple of months later two months later whatever, whatever the time frame was all i know it's been a roller coaster of a ride i was so glad i was on like annual leave and i was able to do the live streams and kind of test the stuff it's been a great journey and i'm really really glad i was kind of involved in the testing of this core and uh, we were doing live streams and and we're still testing it we're still doing stuff and honestly it's just amazing but guys i'm going to end the video here this is mario kart it's running well most of the games are tried are running well there's only one game that kind of hung and crashed and that was doom and i guess we kind of probably knew about that but i wanted to test it anyway because i'm sure once doom fully works everyone's going to be like wow doom works like they are with many of the other games um also you know uh, a massive thank you out to the guy that let me know about uh, the japanese game to try that's that's super super appreciated what was their name again let me see if i can find the tweet down here oh here we go it's uh sibaru underscore xyz so thank you for highlighting that tweet and uh, i'll definitely try and get some um foreign language games gang because obviously there are people in other countries uh or non-english speaking people that speak korean people that speak japanese people that speak a multitude of different languages that watch these videos so uh, i kind of have to bear that in mind that maybe you run some other games that i can't understand and go for the menu and just see hey can i achieve something can i get somewhere if it's like a fighting game cool if it's like a big rpg then yeah yeah maybe i'm going to try and input my name and do the beginning and just kind of hang there but that's it guys take care of yourself take care of each other this is Pixel Cherry Ninja out.